Hello friends, welcome to Planning B6. Hope you are doing well. Today we are here with the topic of as we are in sequence of our options, uh, we read to the tools and uh, we already described about the previous option. Recalculate assignment cost. Today we will discuss about the option summarize. What is the summarization? How we can use it? And what is the purpose of this summarization option in Primagra P6? Yes, the summarization option basically we use to show the project values in the portfolio or in the project tab, and we can easily manage our print to show the all projects data in project tab. Basically, whenever the project is open, the values are not showing only the value is showing for the open project only so i will define with the working open your primary p6 software and open the projects tab this one projects tab i have already opened this project tab whatever when you have opened any of projects like this project is open this one only the activities number of activities are showing for this one first of all we will manage the columns whatever you desire you can manage the columns here i will add some columns for example two three four five to show you people's only okay like here this one right click here and go to the columns go to the customize we will add some columns like for the budget from the budget we will add the original budget okay move down after the original budget maybe we can add the actual total cost from the cost actual total cost see the actual total cost okay and then we will add suppose from the date start and finish this one is finish and start data date okay and uh, forecast data date whatever you want you can add from here okay move start start from here and then we will add some other cost variance if you want durations you can add the durations whatever the duration you can add from here total float as well if you want total float move at the start okay and then earn value from the earn value if you want to add something schedule variance something like that if you want to add cost variance add here cost variance and then from the journal something you can add from here if you want to add add from here and uh, number of activities leave it we will add from here schedule percent complete performance percent complete sorry performance percent complete unit percent complete and cost percent complete if you want to see duration percent of original cost percent of original you can add from here and uh, also from the project codes if you want to add some project codes from here you can add from the summary you can add from the units actual labor units and remaining labor units maybe you can add from here data date we will move at the end and from here we will just search date of last summarization date point no delivery date baseline forecast finish yeah this one last summarize date okay close this tab apply all column now has been applied now just manage these columns to show the values like that this one this one this one move it this one finish and then cost variance schedule percent complete and uh, move from here data date and last match date is here 
okay now data date is showing here but other values are not showing how we can show if you are we are generating assembly report then how we can show the like that okay manage the columns from here after the managing the columns you can how we can manage only you can see here last project is open that's why the data from the last project is showing only as well this one start finish whatever the values are there this is open so friends now we will do the summarization to show the data here suppose we want to do the summarization for this project to show the data here or just open the project here like this there are two or three ways to summarize the projects okay now go to the tools and in the tools you can see here tools and summarize here all projects are open projects we will do if you want to do for the entire projects you can do all projects but for the open it will take time we will do for the open projects its summarization the project is in progress so summarization of data of for the selecting pro selected project was successful okay now if we move to the project tab here in the projects tab here you can see here the all values are showing here whichever we have assigned there is no budget assigned that's why it start finished and other if you go here like that one remaining labor units actual labor units are showing here labor units remaining duration from the original and then units percent complete is showing like that and data date was 28th of april and then this one is summarization last summarization date if we do if we want to do from here you can also do from here this one just select the project and summarize project after the summarize yes i want to summarize this that project you can also use from here okay and also if you have multiple want to use them for the multiple projects you can select two or three projects and right click and summarize projects yes with a short key with this option we can use like that summarize okay now the summarization has been completed for that projects you can see all projects data is showing here this is total sum of the all projects and this is it's called portfolio report you can say portfolio report and something like that if you want to delete some of the project summarization like you have clicked wrongly you don't want to show the sum project data here in the report so how you can you just go right click here and here you can see delete project summarize delete it after the deleting yes for the selected one by one for the all you can delete it and this summarization you have to do after the every scheduling of the, the every update because your project data will be saved in the database you can set up the prints and everything from the here hopefully this topic is clear now please like share and comment on our tutorials thanks for watching allah hafiz